guys welcome back to my channel if you're all doing really really well so as you guys can see by the title today's video is going to be a vlog really quickly i've been promising myself and i've been saying that i'm going to be editing and posting every single video i film and this is going to be one of them i really really love vlogging i really love watching chill vlogs that are realistic and one of my favorite youtubers is tara mitchell i know i don't have the audience that might be interested in my lifestyle i guess but whatever this is what i love making and i'm gonna keep on making it so there's that let me give you a quick update of what i have and what i should do next week i have midterms i'm gonna sneeze are you coming i guess not but uh, i have midterms next week and i should study for that but i know i'm kind of not going to study because that's what i always do um i love the night of exam sort of studying by the way guys everyone is talking about bridgerton and did i tell you that i watched the whole series in one freaking night i literally slept at was it 4 or 5 p.m i am sorry yeah that's when i slept like i watched it like the second day it dropped and i think that if i've watched it in like separate days i won't complete it and probably i would have hated it but the fact that i've watched it like in one night and one sit it, it now i could say that i like it but if i watched it day by day or something like that i probably wouldn't like it in a also watch the new harry potter like uh series is it wings fate something like that and i also watched that the second day it dropped so good for me um watch that in like two days which is good yeah that's that's my really quick update and guys i really love this lighting but should i quickly show you guys how i edit my thumbnails i think i should Let's do it. By the way, guys, I use Canva for editing my thumbnail. Anyways, yesterday I worked on making the thumbnail. Okay, so let me show you guys how I edit my thumbnail. I really love this new editing style that I'm having for myself. And what I like to do is to have a new page. I go to my imported pictures and I make sure to edit my pictures. I use Lightroom for that. I use do that on my phone. It's for it's all for free. I will put over here the the settings. That I used like I had this really nice setting in my previous picture that I'll pop over here and I really really like that so I've decided that I'm going to be keeping that so I just like copy the settings and paste it into each picture which I'm gonna still be putting that over here on the screen but but yeah I just paste that setting into each picture and then I have like more than one picture but I just what did I use okay let's say I'm gonna be using this just crop it like this put it in the middle like for example right now we just like have four pictures like in this previous one for example i had three i don't know where this one went but i just like put pictures together um try to make them as aligned as possible so yeah i just place the pictures that i want i'm gonna add a text and i'm gonna be typing morning for example and the font that i like to use is called chewy so i just put it as big as i want it want it to then i just like move it around and the color that i'm loving right now is this one this is the reference of the color if you want to use it maybe so you can just like type it over there and then I like to go to effects and go to curve. Uh, by the way, this is a new feature on Canva. It didn't used to be there. So yeah, I'm gonna put it over here and then I'm gonna duplicate this because I'm lazy and go and type morning routine. And I'm gonna have this like the opposite way and just like place it over here and have it in another color and that's basically it. 
Okay guys, so when it comes to planning, I like more of a traditional way. I'm gonna push myself to try Notion because that's what everyone is using right now. But I really love to write down all of my ideas and what I have to do. This is how my month look like. I'm just gonna have an overlay because you guys cannot see it. But basically I have January on the top and then I have each day like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday until Saturday and Sunday. So I literally write this down and this is basically how my every day is going to look like. So on Mondays, for example, I write down how to take Instagram pictures, do stuff for my internship, post stories on Instagram, um, edit a video for my client, not for me because obviously I haven't been uploading over here, do some schoolwork. So basically, I just write down how every day should look like and down here, I write down goals that I want to check by the end of them this month and today is the 31st which I believe and hopefully this video is gonna go on the 31st so yeah I definitely feel like I did so much so basically this is an overview of how I want my month to look like how I want like what I want to come out with and guys I write this based on my school schedule and also based on this and over here is like my goals and everything that i want to manifest and there is this page that's all about my 2021 goals and over here i really want to talk to you guys about something which is separating the things that that are your goals and things that you want to manifest because sometimes there's things that you don't have control over. Like for example, I don't have control over how many persons gonna watch this video. I don't have control about how many persons gonna subscribe to my channel, but I definitely can manifest that. So I write down, write that down into the manifestation section, not into the goals section. Cause if I don't reach that, I'm just gonna be broken inside. So, in the goal section, I just write down, I want to upload at least three times a month, which is exactly what I did in the whole January thing. So throughout the whole year, I want to be uploaded at least three times a month. Makes sense. And then, and if I do keep on doing that, I am most likely gonna be able to reach the goal that I'm trying to manifest. Yeah, I just write my monthly goals based on my yearly goals and this is what I advise you guys to do. So for example, over here I have, I wanna lose 15 kilograms. I wanna lose 15 kilograms. So I wrote down on my monthly goals that I want to eat healthy, carb-free for eight days a week. You see, I'm like taking a step towards my goal, like small steps. So yeah, I hope like that, that made sense for you guys. So how I do my daily to-do list, which is a really, really easy task. I just go to my laptop. I don't do everything on a notebook. We gotta be um, advanced a little bit and use some technology. So basically the app that I like to do is Microsoft to do it's completely free and the part that i like to use is tasks because my day is not the one for me unless you plan the same day but for me i like to go to tasks because i plan one day ahead like the night before so for example tomorrow i have to study for my exam so I write down exam. Uh, what else do I have to do tomorrow? And guys, the reason why I go for like the the night before for planning my day, because it's gonna be so unrealistic if you plan the, your whole day like two weeks before, because you never know what you're gonna have. You never know 
what's gonna be your priority that day because your priority definitely shifts around so for example tomorrow for me I have to study for my exam so that's exactly what I typed down here and I definitely would love to be able to edit edit this video edit and post this video uh, the exam I'm gonna be studying for it today and tomorrow which is fine so yeah I like to do this and just like type down all of my tasks in here the night before that's what I like to do because the next day you probably won't remember it like everything that you want to do but I still the next day as I said because your priorities change you know what I mean so I just like down I don't know whatever and I really love that over here you could just like change this so whatever I have whatever is my priority I just like to put it up and down is the things that are less of a priority if that makes any sense yeah that's basically how I plan I hope it was somewhat helpful now I think I'm gonna walk to the store right next to me which is literally like a five minute walk not a big deal but it's okay it's okay at least I'm just gonna move my body today so I'm gonna go ahead and do that So guys, I ended up going for a 10 to 20 minute walk. Um, I did sweat a little bit, but I definitely want to start doing this more in the morning because it's definitely late in the day. It's like 5 p.m. or something. Uh, and I think that this sort of walks will be like way nicer and I would say more refreshing in the mornings. Friday, Saturday and Sunday mornings like those days i don't have any classes so, so i really really want to start going on walks on those three days and probably like do some sort of workouts on the other days but yeah mm -hmm. 